In this video, I'm going to be giving you a brief overview of the mobile version of the MetaTrader Forex Trading Platform. So let's dive right into it, shall we? Okay, so what you're going to need to do first is to open the Play Store, the App Store on your mobile device. So I'm using an Android device in this example and you can see that I've already opened the Google Play Store. If you're using an iOS device, the same thing applies. Just open the App Store, okay? So once you've opened the App Store, just type in into the search bar MT4 and search for it, okay? So you can see that I've already typed that in and I have the MT4 application as the result. So it's not installed on my device at the moment. All I need to do is to click on the install button and without wasting any time, it's going to start downloading right now, okay? Once the app is downloaded, then we're going to move on to actually installing, uh, creating an account and setting up our chats and everything, okay? So it's, I think we need just a couple of seconds for it to be fully installed on the device. Okay, yeah. So the app has been installed on the device now and all we need to do is to click on open, okay? So once you open the device for the first time, it's actually going to want to open a demo account for you. But in this case, it might just go and open a demo account for you with MetaCodes, okay? MetaCodes is the software provider, the people who actually created the MT uh, MetaTrader software, okay? So we would let it do that, but that's not what we need. Just uh, click on accept the terms. Okay, it hasn't gone to do that. In this case, this is a good thing. What you would need to do is just to, uh, in this field where it says find broker, you're going to type in the server address of your broker. So this is the login details you're going to receive by email or by text message or whatever through your broker when you open an account with them. So in this case, we're going to be typing Hantech Markets. Once you start typing in it, uh, it's type, when, once you start typing it in, it's going to give you the options, okay? So we're going to be going with Hantech Markets the demo server, okay? Hantech Market Limited, okay? Demo, so I'm just going to select that. And um, we want to actually create an account with them. I think I must have done something wrong. Yeah, open a demo account, okay? So we'll now type in again, Hantech Markets, demo, okay? Yes, so this is the option, okay? Now in the field where it says name, all you'd need to do is type in your name. So I'm going to be typing in my name, okay? You can type in your name into the field, okay? And your phone number, okay? You can type in anything, okay? So in this example, I'm just going to be using uh, a dummy phone number, okay? 0802900. Two nine hundred. Okay, so I'm just going to be typing in that dummy phone number, and um, I'm going to be typing in an email, a dummy email in this example. And for this particular example, we're going to be opening an account with a leverage of one is to five hundred, with a balance of one hundred thousand US dollars. Okay. Once you filled in all of these details, just click on create, and you can see just like that the account has been created and. You might want to take a screenshot of this detail so that in future, when you want to log into this account on your mobile, uh, on your desktop uh, MetaTrader 4, you have the details to do that. Okay, so I've just done that. And uh, just click on done once, you're, once you finish this. Okay, as soon as you've created your MT4 account and you've, uh, your demo account, okay, that's all you need to do. If, for example, you don't want to use a demo account, you already have a live account with your broker and all you need to do is just uh, to fund the account and trade with them or you've already even funded that account, what you need to do is you need to click on this option and then click on manage accounts and you see this plus at the top here, you're going to click on it and click log into an existing account. So the server address which your broker is going to provide to you is what you're going to be typing in into the search box. So since we're using Hantech Markets in this example, if the server they gave you is Hantech Market Server 1, 
Just select that and then type in your login address and your password, uh, your login, your account number and your password. And that's it. You'll be logged into your account. But let's go, let's continue with the demo account example we're using, okay, for this video. So we've already set up the demo account and you can see we've got a ton of currency pairs. This is our price chart, okay? So you can zoom in, you can zoom out on the charts and these are all of the things you can do on the charts. But that's not all. You see, when let's assume that you wanted to trade a currency pair which is not in this drop-down list. For example, let's say you wanted to trade something like the um, like gold, for example. Just because you don't see it in this list doesn't mean your broker doesn't offer it. That's one thing with the mobile uh, version of MT4. You need to actually add it to your watch list. This is called the watch list. So what you need to do in this case is click on plus, this plus you see at the top, and where you see gold, silver, or whatever, whichever instrument you want to add, just tap on this folder and it's going to expand it. So once you've done that, click on the instrument you want to add to your watch list. You can see that once I clicked on it, it just went away. You might think it did nothing, but actually it did something. Let's go back. When you go down now, you can see that we have gold here. The reason is because it just added it to our watch list. So if you wanted to trade gold through the mobile application, just right click on it and click on open chart. Okay. And that's it. You've added gold to your watch list and here's the price chart of gold. Okay. If you wanted to trade gold. So what about customization? What, what about if you want your charts to look something different? Well, to do that, you're going to need to come to settings. Okay. And when you come to settings, you see this color scheme. This is where you're going to change the look of your chart if you want to. Okay. So let's assume that we want a uh, kind of ash background for our chart. And we want uh, our bar up and bar down to be black. But we want our book handle, okay? We want our book handle to be green and our red candle, our beer candle to be red, okay? And you can customize all of this, okay? But in this example, we're just going with this, okay? Now I've selected this, I've clicked on the OK button. And when we come back to the charts, you can see that just like that, we've set our charts to look how we want them to look, okay? What if, if you wanted to change a time frame? Well, you can do that by clicking on this option here, which looks like a clock here, and you have your list of time frames to switch uh, to switch to. You can go to the one hour time frame if that's what you want. You can go to the daily time frame. You can do whatever you want with this option. Okay. So this is actually a brief overview of the mobile version of the MT4 application. Okay. So that's all for this video. Okay. Look forward to seeing. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.